Hi ladies, how are you all doing? It's your girl Remy, your global image and etiquette consultant based in Bolton, United Kingdom. So today ladies, I'm here with another episode on my holiday etiquette series. And today we're going to be talking about napkins so when it comes to napkins there's an etiquette for napkins and you know you're going to be having a lot of dinners you're going to be eating out or eating in attending events and i need you to understand the appropriate etiquette and protocol for your napkins so when it comes to napkins we have the three variations we have the dinner napkins which are basically the largest napkins you'll find and then we have the lunch napkins which is the next size down and then we have the tea napkins which are based on the dessert napkin which is the smallest kind of napkin but today i'm going to be basically explaining to you how you use the dinner napkin because this is the very popular one that you'll find in most restaurants being used so when it comes to napkins napkins basically have two uses the first one is basically to wipe your mouth so you're eating you've got a spillage you've got something on your lips you bring out your napkin remembering that this is how you place your napkin okay horizontally and you just bring up the tip and dab remember you're not rubbing just dabbing nicely and you place your napkin back quickly okay so this is one of the uses for your napkin the second use is to communicate with your service throughout your meal so for example you need to go to the bathroom one way to let your server know is by ensuring that you pick up your napkin nicely and do like so and just place it on your chair and excuse yourself now when it comes to this particular rule i've seen quite a few people say oh my god i'm quite concerned for sanitary reasons putting my napkin on the chair personally i don't have a problem with this because the restaurants i go to have a high hygiene standard and i really don't have an issue with this and i don't know anyone who has suffered any kind of issues based on this but this is the major way by which you do this. If you have a problem with this, um, I really don't know any other way to ensure that your waiters know that you're not done. One other thing that people do is they put their napkin on the right hand side of the table when they've gone to the bathroom. Now, bear in mind that it's possible that this restaurant that you're attending, the servers haven't been trained to know that that still means that you're still here. So it's possible that they take your plate. So I would advise that you put your napkin just the way I've shown you on the chair and excuse yourself. Now, the second thing that the napkin is used for when communicating with your service is saying that I'm done eating and I will not be returning to my chair. Now, when you're done eating, what I need you to do is again, fold your napkin, just pinch it, okay? We're not folding, just pinch it and put it nicely on the left hand side of the table this way your waiter your server knows that you're done eating and you will not be returning to the table now this rule works for restaurants if you're eating out at a dinner party or whatever it is that you have now when it comes to a home setting so let's say you've been invited to a dinner at a friend's house, at a colleague's house. When it comes to napkin etiquette, it's a bit different in the sense that unlike in the restaurants when, when you're ready to eat, you just put it, you don't really need to wait for anyone. When you are being invited and you have a host, the right thing to do, the right etiquette and protocol is to wait for the host to signal before you do things. So the host will be using her napkin, his napkin, to speak to you throughout the meal. So when the host is ready for everyone to start eating, you'll find that the host will take his or her napkin and place it on their lap. Now, this means that it's okay for you to also pick up your napkin and place it on your lap. Don't pick up your napkin until the host has done so. At the same time, when you're eating, you know, you have your starters, you have your main and you have your dessert. It depends on, you know, the course meal you're having. For some people, it's a two course. For some people, it's a three. We have up to five as well. It depends on what you're having. But when your host knows that, okay, this is the last part of this meal, then again, you'll find your host picking up his or a napkin, putting it on the left-hand side. Once you see your host do that, 
ladies you need to also stop eating it doesn't matter whether or not you're done eating once your host signals that it is time to finish the meal you're expected to follow that protocol and drop your napkin as well it's quite simple remember that the holiday is a time to mingle it's a time to have fun and socialize with people all around so remember that curtsy is a very very important part of socializing you want people to see that you understand the real protocols and you're ready to abide and adhere to them so remember ladies implementation is key and remember to put your best foot forward everywhere you go thank you for watching and I'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye.